it's so much better to live in Michigan than Hawaii, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, actually, I was watching that video like, look at those lush green uh, leaves. Know, exactly. It's so beautiful there. Of course, that's a flying. devastating yeah. situation. But uh, we're going to get some greening right. up here now with the warmer temperatures right. and maybe some rain in the forecast, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, it's going to take a little while, I think, to get green around here. April showers bring the May flowers, so we're still a little, a little way away from that. But uh, yeah, I agree with Janice. I was focused in on that uh, that plush green shrubbery out there. Hopefully they can get the uh, flooding under control here shortly. Nonetheless, uh, around here, anything but flooding. We haven't had any rain or snow, it seems like, in days. Our next shot for any sprinkle or light shower. And Derek, uh, he just asked me in the commercial break what the prospects are for rain here in Grand Rapids tomorrow. Yeah, it's not zero, but uh, if we do get uh, some dampness, it's, it's likely to be sprinkles or a light shower that would barely make the pavement damp, I would think, through the mid to late morning, around midday. But uh, there's a chance we don't really see anything at all. I Either. So the net result is uh, any big rains for tomorrow locally? Answer is no. Better chance for a couple light showers. I think extreme northern sections, say Nuevo County, Oceana, perhaps uh, Muskegon as we go through the morning hours. But even there won't be anything great in terms of what you're uh, racking up in the rain gauge. 41 degrees is the average for this March 9th. We got to 66. So officially 25 degrees above average for today. Our overnight low, though, was 29, so it wasn't uh, that far off the average overnight low. We had light winds last night, the uh, clear skies for the most part, some high level clouds were drifting across, but the mercury did dip down as soon as that sun came out today. Although it was mixed with clouds initially, uh, the, the temperatures just uh, rose quickly. We were only two degrees off a record in GR, did break a record, folks in Holland got to a high of 68. The record was 66. Muskegon broke a record at uh, 68. The record was only 60. So shattered that one. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I didn't actually look at the record uh, book for or the records around the region for uh, Wednesday, but uh, I think we were pushing back into the low to mid 60s. Once again, there's not going to be as much sunshine. There will be a lot of clouds around for the middle day of our work week, but this atmosphere, it is uh, really mild and we're only dropping down into the upper 40s tonight. So a starting point much higher. And I do think we get back to about 64 in GR for Tomorrow, best chance of rain will be through the morning hours on Thursday. Not a big rain, though. I mean, I'm thinking a couple hundredths of an inch, perhaps a quarter of an inch, something like that now. And uh, cooler again by the weekend. We've been mentioning that for days, actually going back uh, several days. We had mentioned that this following weekend, which is this upcoming weekend now, would likely get back down into the 40s. That continues to look to be likely. 49 at 7 a.m., 56 at noon, and we get to 64. Notice the cloud symbol, though. It's rather prominent there, blocking out sunshine. There may be a few episodes where these uh, high and mid-level clouds can weaken and allow some dimmed or filtered sunshine in there, though. I cannot rule that out. Overall, though, I think the prospects for mostly cloudy skies are probably greatest right on through with a few sprinkles here mid to late morning. Potential for that. A little bit better chance for a light shower off in northern and northwestern zones from GR. Readings on the board right now noticeably milder. Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo and over towards the lakeshore. Further inland dropping down into the middle 40s as, uh, well, uh, yeah, winds a little bit lighter over towards the Detroit area, even calm. So that's why temperatures are cooler there. But here locally, we do have some of these southerly breezes and they are going to be picking up more so for tomorrow. So there's a real breezy slash windy corridor out through the Midwest and that is translating in our direction as we speak. So when you step outside tomorrow morning, likely you will notice it being breezy. And then I think we can escalate that to classifying it as windy by the afternoon as we go 15 to 25, possibly sustained as high as 30 and gusting to around 40 or so. I think overnight in to Thursday morning. There could be some wind gusts near the lakeshore, close to 50 miles per hour as this uh, system works on through. And uh, it does look to drop us down with these temperatures by the upcoming weekend. So we get closer to normal, I think, by Saturday and Sunday and even below normal early next week. As I talked about on the six o'clock show earlier today, there are a couple disturbances moving through the Midwest early to middle of next week that uh, have to be watched. We don't have any Arctic air around, but a couple of these systems could develop their own cold air and there may be some wet snow mixing in with rain at times. So that's something we'll monitor. Definitely a different pattern next week versus what we've got right now. We're firmly entrenched in the warmer air. More clouds again developing overnight tonight and for the day tomorrow. A lot of these are high and mid-level clouds and sometimes that sun can filter on through. The main rain zone is going to be off to the north though. Couple sprinkles or a shower may be further south here trickling into Grand Rapids late morning, early afternoon and then a better chance as the actual cold front comes through on Thursday morning. But you can clearly see there's not a whole lot going on there. Derek and 
Janus. So, you know, maybe a couple hundredths of an inch. That clears out some sun by the afternoon on Thursday. Temperatures actually do fall closer to 50 by the afternoon on Thursday with that cold front coming through. And then see the clock there, guys. Overnight Saturday into Sunday morning, we're pushing the clocks forward. Uh, so the days are getting longer here in the afternoons and evenings, though it does get cooler early next week. With days like today, make it as long as you like. It was exactly. beautiful. Yeah. Anthony, thanks. A profane 